no. I'm crooked. Oh! Hey everybody, welcome to the last Tuesday Rewind of 2020. That's so exciting. I feel like 2020 just got started. Um, but now we're here at the end. It's going to be 2021. Or 20, yeah, 2021. It feels strange to say that. Um, but I hope you guys had a fantastic Christmas. I hope that your New Year's is going to be even better. Um, and I hope you guys got to spend a lot of time around the Christmas tree with your family, eating great food, opening up some presents, and spending time maybe playing some games. Um, this video, oh, I wanted to remind you guys that on January 9th, we are going to be having our Rewind Celebration. It's actually going to be at Faith Church. We're going to be inside, so make sure you wear your masks. And we're going to be kind of doing a recap of everything that we've learned in these Rewind videos. We're going to have a giant celebration. Um, we're going to announce the winners of the grand prize. And we're going to be very generous with prizes this season. So you might want to make sure you're out there. Um, and also continue submitting awesome Rewind challenges up until then. Um, for a chance to win more and more prizes. Once again, I believe that I said that they were a Dairy Queen gift card, a, a just a plethora of candy, and then a surprise prize. So be sure to keep submitting your rewind submissions because you guys are killing it. Anyway, so I hope you guys had a great Christmas. One of the coolest things that I got was a, ooh, I, the rewind challenge, guys, the rewind challenge last week was to to show everyone the funniest or greatest gift that you might have given someone this year for Christmas. And the gift that I chose to give my family this year was matching Winnie the Pooh onesies. Check out this video. Uh, I hope they'll let me put it up. <laughs> Mom. Mom. Dad. <laughs> So the, if you haven't seen Winnie the Pooh, that's Winnie the Pooh, Tigger, Eeyore, and Piglet. Um, we're all dressed up as. So that's my family as well. Welcome into my home. Um, I'm currently in the basement. But with that aside, I would like the Rewind Challenge. I'd like you to take a video. Since it's New Year's, we do resolutions. And so I want you to take a video, and I want you to tell me about your New Year's resolution. Could be that you want to eat healthy. Could be that you want to read your Bible more, could be that you want to get all A's in school, it could be anything. I want you to take a video telling me about your resolution and why it is important to you and send it to me. My email will be in the description below for a chance to be submitted and featured in our YouTube Rewind video, the first YouTube Rewind video of the new year. Um, so yeah, with that out of the way, everybody, let's just jump right into it. Today we're going to be talking about, I'm just going to do a brief overview Actually, of everything that we've talked about um, the last month, particularly because now that Christmas is past, it's always such a bummer when Christmas is over. I always get kind of sad for a couple of days because um, I'm like, man, I just love Christmas so much. And now I have to wait a whole year until it comes back around. But now that Christmas is past, sometimes it's pretty easy to forget that we celebrate Christmas for such a beautiful reason, which is that Jesus came down to earth and saved us all from sin, which is what we've been learning about this whole month. And so we've learned that Jesus is our shepherd. We were reading about the time that Jesus told Peter to go feed his sheep and to take care of his sheep. And then we also learned that we are God's sheep and that Jesus takes care of, takes cares of, oh my gosh, takes care of us, <laughs> takes care of us as the good shepherd. He leads us to green pastures, he feeds us, and he makes sure that we are all well. And so, and beyond that all, he saves us. And he, through Jesus, we can have eternal life in heaven with God. And so, it's important to remember that, not just during the Christmas season, but to have that in our hearts and in our minds throughout the rest of the year as well. Because that's the greatest news you could ever tell someone, right? If you knew that the answer to eternal life, if you knew that true love and true joy came from Jesus, came from the never-ending source of God, you would want to tell everybody about it. You'd want to share it with the whole world. And the beauty is, is that you do know it. 
and that you guys have the beautiful opportunity to share it with your friends and your family and to grow in it yourselves because you guys are so such a bright future, such a beautiful future ahead of you guys. And I'm so excited to see what each and every one of you do. And God's going to be with you guys every step of the way. And so I wanted to look over. Oh, I lost my page. Where are we? And the one big thing that we hope for, I found my page. And the last thing that I'd want to talk about, this is going to be a shorter video today, is to talk about what our hope is in. That was the theme that we've been talking about this whole month, is where do we put our hope in? And if you've been to any of the Sunday schools or been keeping up on these videos, you would know that our hope is in the second coming of Jesus. Is that our hope is when Jesus comes to finish the work that he started here on earth. Because the first time he came here, that wasn't everything he had to do. He came to start a process. Not to start it, but he came in the middle of a process that God had started way before our lives had begun. And Jesus came because he saw that we needed help. They saw, God saw, that we needed someone to, someone to come and save us from ourselves. Someone to come and give us the answers we've been looking for. And someone to, someone to come and to guide us into a forever lasting relationship with God. And so the hope that we have in Jesus, the hope that for a brighter future, a hope for a brighter tomorrow, is promised to us by God in Jesus. And that is the most beautiful truth that we can have throughout all the Bible, is that Jesus has saved us, and Jesus is everything that we are. And so, with that, it's super important to keep that in our, brain, or in, our, in our brains and also in our hearts, and to carry it around with us, like it's in our pocket <laughs> throughout the whole year. Um, and I hope you guys can have a fantastic new year, and I hope you guys, like me, are in your pajamas, relaxing, while you're not in school. Because um, I know we have to go back to school soon. Ah! <laughs> I'm just kidding. I love school. I, I mean, sometimes I do. I don't know. I don't know if I... Do I love school? That is not important. Ooh. <laughs> but anyway, guys. I love you all. You are so amazing. And I hope you guys' Christmases was beautiful.